what was it like training on, in your brand new home for the first time? Uh, it's going to be amazing. You know, obviously the weather isn't really cooperating too much, but uh, that means we can test it out in all sorts of climates. So we're excited. It looks beautiful, and uh, we can't wait to get out there. You got to see it for the first time last week. What was your first reaction when you saw Geodes Park? It's incredible, you know, to think that this is our permanent home and uh, a place where 30,000 can come and, and pack it out, cheering for us. It's, it's amazing. So we can't wait for May 1st. Uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere, and hopefully we'll bring back three points to, to open it the right way. This stadium has been a long time coming, and you've been with this club since the beginning. You scored the first goal for Nashville SC Nissan Stadium way back in 2020. Taking a look back at everything that has happened with this club, how do you describe the journey that this club has been on? It's, it's been incredible. You know, it's, it's a great group of guys. Wouldn't want to do it with, with any other teammates, uh, any other staff. It's been uh, a really wild ride, and now it's going to kind of culminate here with the opening of our new stadium and, and kind of be the beginning of, I think, a new chapter for Nashville SC and, and Nashville in general. That, again, all these fans can come, have a home, a permanent home that is ours is really special. So I think that's the, the next part of this journey and, and something that we're all looking forward to. Walker, that first uh, goal was immortalized in the locker room. You walk right past it. Um, what, what does that feel like? What is that going to be like every time you walk through there and see that moment? It's really cool. It's really special. You know, obviously I hadn't seen that before until we came here on Monday. And so we're kind of taking the tour. You open a door and there's a hallway and then you're like, whoa, like, there it is. Um, so that's really special that that's going to be, you know, there on the wall and, um, Something that I'm really proud of and, and something that will be probably inspiring every time I step into this place. What does this place symbolize, Walker, as far as just the quality of the building itself and as far as the MLS venues go? Like, where, where do you think this puts you guys? Uh, it's massive. I mean, even the growth of the league is huge, and this is just a testament to that. You know, to see um, just the sheer size of the stadium, you know, 30,000, big, biggest soccer specific in the country. Um, especially leading into all the things coming for this country in the World Cup 2026. Um, it's putting Nashville on the map for soccer and the Southeast in general has been such a hotbed for youth players. And so now it gives them another opportunity to say, I want to play for Nashville when I'm, when, you know, and they see the stadium, they come visit and they get excited. And so I think it's, it's a great opportunity to, to show um, youth players what, what a great city Nashville is, what a home this could be for them if they choose to be a professional soccer player one day. And uh, it's going to inspire a lot of people. So. Really proud to, to be able to open it and uh, play there for the first time. And I think all of us are going to be sharing that same sentiment. You, you mentioned kind of the Southern pride part of it. You're a guy from Georgia. What is it like? Does, it, does that kind of make it hit a little closer to home that like in a place like Nashville, Tennessee, the stadium can be built? A hundred percent because, you know, growing up in Atlanta, you know, Atlanta United wasn't there when I was growing mm -hmm. up. Um, we didn't really have any teams in Florida either. So there was no team that I grew up in the Southeast, like watching saying, oh, I want to play for them because there weren't any. And so now, with the expansion, we see all these teams popping up in the Southeast uh, and Nashville being, you know, one of them, especially right in the center of the Southeast. This is such a great place for, for kids to, to look up to and hopefully play for one day. Um, and so now we're just doing our, our part to try and inspire that next generation to want to wanna achieve those dreams and no better place to do it than Nashville. Still three weeks away. I mean, like, is the anticipation just almost too much? Like, you just want to get in here. It's been a slow build. You know, like <laughs> you said, it's been three years, and now we're, we're three weeks away, which seems really close. But uh, everything's just been kind of slow and steady. And we've kind of just incrementally grown as a club, grown as a team. And uh, so, yeah, it's definitely kind of reaching that point where the opening of the stadium really is the climax of, boom, here we are year three. Um, it's going to be the start of a new chapter, and I think, again, we're all just so pumped to, to open the stadium. How do you think it's helped the team to have so many away games and now finally being able to come back? It's been great because you kind of get in that routine, that rhythm of playing on the road. You know it's going to be an uphill battle every week. You know it's going to be difficult with all the challenges that being on the road presents. But with that, we know that if we can get enough points on the road during these eight games, that when we come here at home, we're going to have a schedule in the tail end of the season that is you know, heavily at home, and that's going to play into our advantage. And especially if we can make this place a fortress like we did at, at Nissan, where you know, we're expected to win or go undefeated every single time we play here, that's going to be the expectation, and, and I think it's going to deliver. Speaking of that, you didn't take a single loss at home last year. How much more pressure is there on this club to not just win at home in your new stadium, but also the home opener? It's, it's definitely a, a great streak. It's a great streak to be a part of. Uh, it's very impressive. Not a lot of teams have done that. And so for us to continue that home streak, um, even though it's a different building, we're still in Nashville, and so we're going to keep that going as long as we can. With 10 points in the first stretch of the road game, now you're getting into the home stretch. How ahead of schedule do you guys feel as you prepare to go to California? 
We feel like we're in a good spot. Um, you know, the, the past two two weeks were huge for us in terms of collecting all three points. Um, but these are games that we got to go in with the mindset to win and not look ahead to our home you know, our home games. But it's it's an opportunity in San Jose that you know I think we're going to be ready for. It's three points that are completely on the table, and then we'll try and go back to California again the next week and take three off of the Galaxy. And you know, if we can get some points out of these next two games, uh, it'll put ourselves in a really good position to, to open up here May 1st. Walker, tell us what kind of a trip has been for you from the time you were presented as a player in Nashville, and then the last two seasons with Nashville, uh, the national team, the World Cup, the new stadium. I mean, tell us about what it was the yeah. thing in the day side. Yeah, there's, there's a lot that's happened over the past three, four years, that's for sure. Um, and it's it's been a fun ride. It's been a wild ride. I think you know getting the chance to open up a second stadium, you know, having that opportunity at LAFC to open up the Bank of California, now to be able to do that again. I mean, that is so rare to open up such amazing stadiums uh, in this league. So to be able to do that twice, uh, I'm really excited. Uh, I know what it's going to take. I know what what to look forward to, uh, and it's going to be an electric atmosphere. So crazy past couple years, not taking anything for granted, and and trying to stay focused, humble, and in the present. And just kind of take it one game at a time. With the kind of tangible experience of being in this stadium and stuff, do you produce, uh, approach the final two road games of the stretch differently, or are you kind of more of the same? No, I think it's more of the same. I think, you know, we've been approaching every road game as, hey, we can win this game. And you have to approach every game like that because uh, if you don't take points on the road, it's going to be difficult to make the playoffs. And even though we know we have a, a great uh, record at home, uh, it's, these road games are so important. And, to try and get some momentum leading into to these home games is is also huge. So the fact that we won the last two is big, but hopefully we can get some results in the next two weeks that'll make it, uh, you know, we're going to be a, a ball that's rolling downhill come May 1st. We have time for one more question. So does anybody want to take the, the chance and take a home? Walker, what's your favorite part about the new stadium? It's got to be the field. I mean, the, we haven't trained on it, but I've walked on it, I've touched it, and uh, it looks beautiful. Uh, it feels great. It feels like it's going to play very, very well. And so just having uh, a field that is you know, pristine and in this kind of condition, there should be no excuses come May 1st when we're out there on the field because uh, it looks it looks pretty impeccable right now. Uh, Aniba, uh, what's your impression about getting to train here at uh, the Ellis Park for the first time? Yes, amazing, amazing feeling for me. And we wait waiting tomorrow for for this time, you know, uh, finally we are here to try to, to enjoy the stadium and the caster, you know, uh, and we we see what happened in the training today and uh, we, we we try to enjoy the more is possible this stadium. When you saw Geodas Park for the first time, what was your initial reaction? What came to mind right away? Oh, uh, everything, everything, because this stadium is look different than the other stadium in the MLS, you know, they have something special. I don't know the picture. I don't know, but they have something special to try to to we use for us to try to enjoy. You know, uh, inside the field. You guys have been, you know, had some of the best fan support around the league, and that was in a large stadium. What do you anticipate it's going to be like in this thirty thousand seat more intimate setting? Uh, if we in the Nissan Stadium, we we feel the the people, we feel the fans. I think here, we, for sure, we feel more pressure. You know, for the other thing. And this is why I always say, without without fans, uh, the football is not possible. You know, and to try to enjoy. This is why I think we have now a good stadium, good fans, uh, good uh, everything around is good, and to try to to build something and try to to take something in this season. Walker was saying, with a stadium like this and a surface like this, there should be no excuses. Everything's set up for you guys. Yes, to no excuse, no excuse. We have everything. We have everything to to show inside the field. Uh, uh, the, uh, May 1st, you know, uh, we cannot uh, take excuse about the stadium, about the field, about everything around, you know, we need to enjoy only. You've been with this club since 2020, you've been since the start of its MLS journey, seeing over the years how far this club has gone. How do you describe the journey that both you and Nashville SC has been on? Yes, and now we have uh, three years in the league, uh, we have two playoffs in the row, you know, uh, I don't know if it's the first time for one team in MLS. They have like three years in the league and two playoffs in a row. I don't know if it's the first time, but uh, now we need to continue to try to to win, win the cup, win something, to try to go the Conca champion. You know, uh, this day uh, growing up every day. You know, Nashville and Tennessee growing up to try to 
to build something good for for this day. And we are here now, and for sure, we take something this year. Cuéntanos en español tus impresiones de todo lo que has visto en el estadio y también además lo que piensas de que la visión haya tomado tu expresión de otro día de caso de Castillo sobre el nombre del estadio ya inmediatamente. Sí, como lo dije, creo que es algo impresionante solo de estar aquí, disfrutar este momento para mí especial. Esperé mucho, esperamos mucho por este momento. Gracias a Dios estoy aquí. Y bueno, el castillo, sí, no sé, yo lo, es una frase que yo siempre eh, decía antes de, 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 de venir aquí, de que este estadio estuviera listo, creo que, creo que es un castillo, en, en realidad es un castillo hermoso y, y disfrutar, como le he dicho, tratar de disfrutar el momento y, y construir algo bueno para, para Nashville. Aníbal, just speaking about his reaction to joining Nashville, to joining being here in the Odis Park and how uh, it's impressive and, uh, and he's so uh, excited to be here. But uh, in addition, about people speak it, the, the, you could say, but uh, how <laughs> he's been saying all along how this is uh, a fortress in Spanish, which, which is Castillo, and uh, how this needs to become a fortress. Speaking of that fortress, last year you guys were undefeated at home at Nissan Stadium. How much pressure, more? How much more pressure is there on this team to win at home this year, and especially the home opener? It's a lot. It's a lot because if you see it, now, the people want to more put more pressure to us, you know, because uh, we have more now, good stadium, new home, and uh, we have something to do uh, here in home, you know, uh, for us. Uh, we need to win in home, like the more games possible, because we have now eight games in the row. You know, uh, we take really good points uh, to try to come here the next two weeks to try to to win. And after we have so many games here at home, for sure, if we win here in home, we go to playoff. Uh, we know, we know that, and this is why. Uh, we, we need the, the people, we need the fans to try to, to support us. I know they support us every time, you know, every, every, day, every game. And now we have 30,000 here, people. It's amazing for us and we need to, we need to enjoy this time. Well, you're gonna go the back. exchange you and Walker had in the World Cup qualifier and winning the penalty, how quickly do you shake that off when you get back together and now you embark on this new No, it's, it's circumstance in the game, you know. Uh, this is football. Uh, everything happened in one game. Uh, me and Walker never have problem. He's a good teammate, good guy, you know. And but he played for USA, he played for Panama. You know, I def <laughs> I defend my country, you know. But uh, I feel happy for him because he deserved to do to go to the World Cup. He deserved a lot. He working hard for for this moment, uh, for try to go there. He know he need to stay healthy, you know. The World Cup is in December, but we are here now uh, in the same thing, you know. And we don't have problem. And this is why now we are in, here in Nashville to try to to build something together for this club. You're going to go back to San Jose for the first time with this club. Are you excited to see your former team? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the first time in three years to mm -hmm. uh, uh, to go back in uh, San Jose. Uh, I feel really happy to try to see my ex teammate, you know. And but now I play for Nashville. I need to I need to protect the, uh, this team and uh, I try to to take something good for for San Jose.